Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host, Vision 33's SAP Chief, SAP Business One Ambassador. Today's session uh, for Wednesday Web Chat is going to be the second uh, training session for Crystal Reports. And today's topic is about finding the data you need, uh, understanding the Business One data model for Business One, and uh, being able to locate uh, the data that you want to report on. So understanding the Business One data model and the data source, the way I like to say it is finding the data you need, right? That's really what it's all about. You can have the greatest reporting skills in the world, but if you don't know how to find the data and where it's at in Business One, you're at a loss. Uh, most people are unaware that there are probably about 1,700 tables with an average of 100 fields per table in the Business One database. So it's quite large and very detailed and uh, you, you need to have some understanding about it and what are the tools in Business One that will help me find what I'm looking for. Right? So that's really what today's topic is about. Now, Business One, unlike many ERP systems, is pretty transparent about the data. Uh, you may think that's not true, but if you've ever used other ERP systems and ever wanted to get to the data, you, you would know that Business One is easy to use compared to many. Uh, one of the big differences, when I first started using this application, so probably close to 14 years, 15 years ago now, was this little thing in the menu, under the view menu, system information. When you turn that on and you just hover on the screen over a field, like we're hovering over the name Norm Thompson, down at the bottom of the screen in the left, it will show you the table name and the field name. Now, why is this helpful? Well, it's helpful because many times when we start writing a report, we, we, we know what we want it to generally be about. It's, well, it's invoices, or it's business partners, or it's sales orders. And if we go to that form in the database, we can kind of find out what the primary table is. Right? On the header, this is the header, right? It'll show me what the header is. That's OCRD, that table, and this is the card name field. Now, notice it says name here. That's not the name of the field. That's just a label. You can even change that if you want to but the actual field name in the database is card name. And if you're using HANA, by the way, that case sensitivity is enforced right, on these, these names. So you have to keep that in mind also. And there's some other things we'll see as we get into the demonstration part. But you can do this on any